There's another man with pressure. Although there is another American to go right at the end, but he goes into these worlds as the USA national champion. And that brings baggage not many can handle. Unexpected national champion, but nevertheless, that's what he was. Fourth in the four continents, did pretty well there without getting on the podium. The podium was a, a very difficult place to be. Let's see what he can do here. Music from Chris Howard's favorite band, Daft Punk. This is Max Aaron. Here's a quad scheduled, quad Salco should be first up in a combination. And he lands it, quad Sal, double toe loop. Proper. the axle just got it <laughs> did well there he was very close to the barrier he really was in the second half of the program as well and uh, this season you get an extra 10 percent for that in the short expressive young man Suddenly we're in a different league. He's done it again. Very early to get any definitive view of where he's gonna be, but he won't be too far away from the shakeup. That's for sure. After he'd done the jumps, I had one thing on my mind, which is, are the judges okay with this music? I loved it. Yeah, I think it went down well. It's something the crowd could get behind, and uh, there's no doubt about it. He really did interpret it, didn't he? It suited him because he's not the most stylish skater. I, I thought that was a great choice of music for him. Yes, he has a look of Elvis Stoiko yeah, about him. Yeah, a bit of Brian Schubert, I was thinking, as yeah, well. Yeah. A little bit angular in places, but uh, a great job done. Well done, Tom, getting him ready for this, because I can tell you, to come from U.S. Nationals, come here as the champion all the pressure the two guys here are looking to uh, their total places not be more than 13 to try and get three into the Olympics and the first part done well how expensive will that double toe be he was looking for triple toe on the end of that combination only doubled out it will be costly but at the end of the day how costly yes yeah, to get that in perspective because we're gonna go through that a lot this week yeah 
if you're third place, it's three points. Obviously, the less points you get, the better it is. And if you get two within 13, then you can have three skaters at the Olympics next year. And that's the aim for the Americans here. It's a very tough ask, to be it honest. It is. It's really tough. It's unlikely. But it just could happen. And he's certainly given them a very good start. Yeah, I think that's the best short program he's done of the season. Because it was a short program that let him down in nationals. Yeah, absolutely. Fourth in the short he was there. Thomas Sakrashek, who trains him in Colorado Springs. Oh, this should be a good score. Yeah, he'll go into the lead, that's for sure. 72 46 is best short. Oh, look at that. Yeah. yeah. Is currently in first place. That's a uh, happy bunny. A new leader. How good that performance is, we won't really know for the best part of a couple of hours. But for the time being, that's terrific from Max Aaron from the USA. <laughs>